We made our homes in the belly of the beast. The beast that devoured our ancestors and spat them out on the other side of the globe. That stole our gold and rubber, our skills and knowledge, our art and music, our history. It gorged and fattened itself, dressed in unmissable finery, and declared itself proudly the empire. It saw its greatness in our puzzled eyes as we stared up the barrel of a gun from every corner of the earth. Its guns were needed still, we were told to protect us from the socialists and communists. Capitalism, our enslaver for centuries, would liberate us one day. It bought our rulers and continued the quiet theft of our humanity and our dignity as it planted poisons and bombs where once there was rice and diamonds. And then the virus came, silent, swift, and deadly. We answered the call to the front lines to confront this invisible enemy. We asked simply for gloves, masks, visors, and gowns. As we fell one by one, we finally began to see that what the gentle ones had been whispering loudly had been true all along. We'd been feeding on the beast's excrement, unmindful of the fact that the empire has no clothes.